Hi, what's up guys? It's Evan here, and in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to solve a mixed up 3x3 into a checkerboard pattern. So this may sound weird, I actually got this idea from another, um, watching another YouTuber, so, um, I thank him for this. So basically, I'm just going to mix up this 3x3 and see if I can solve it into this pattern right here. And I've actually done this before off camera, and it's actually not that difficult. But I'm gonna sh I'm just gonna just this isn't a tutorial, this is just some kind of like challenge. So I'm just gonna mix up the cube really quick. I'm not even looking at the cube so you can tell I'm I don't even know what I'm mixing up. Alright. It's all mixed up. Now let's solve it into this. So basically now I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna look at this cube and just see how to kind of do it. So it looks like, just looking at this, all the center, all the corners just go in the right and original spot like you would normally solve on a 3x3. Centers are the same, but I've noticed that every time when you solve a edge piece, it's opposite of its two centers. So what I basically mean is that, what I'm trying to say is that if you're solving like this edge here and it's like white and, a white and green center, you want to find the opposite color of the center that it's on. So basically, the opposite of white is yellow and the opposite of green is blue. You'll understand this as I go on. So this isn't a tutorial, but this is just a challenge. If you ever wanted to try it, if you ever wanted to try it yourself, you can do it now if you'd like. So I'm gonna start on the white side, and it looks like um I have to just looking at the checkerboard, I have to get all the white edges into their spots and match it with their opposite colors or their centers. So I you know opposite of green is blue, opposite of red is orange, opposite of blue is green, and opposite of orange is red. So now let's see. We got an edge already in place because it's yellow and red. These are the opposites. So we need all yellow edge pieces. I'm just going to use beginner's method. All the corners you would solve like just like on a normal 3x3. Three three. So let's see. Um, This one needs to be yellow because opposite of white is yellow and opposite of blue is green. So yellow and green. Let's find that piece. It's right here. So I'm going to take it out of its place. Now I got two pieces in. Now, now I want to do the yellow and orange piece, which is right here, so I can just insert it. So I got three edges done, and here's the last one. I'm just going to insert it. So we got all these edges done, and now we just solve these corners like on a 3x3. Three three. So here's red and green. I'm just going to take it over to its spot and just insert it like this. Now I'm going to do the same thing for all the other ones. There was green and orange. Now it's time for, let's do this one, blue and orange, and now the last one. So now we got our first layer done, now it's time to solve the second layer. This edge is already correct, I could tell. This edge needs to be green and it needs to go here. So I can just insert it just like this. And a way I can tell that actually is by looking at its edge. If you look at the opposite colors of the edge, so they say this is orange, it needs to go to red because of opposite colors. And you know that um, the opposite of red is orange, like on a checkerboard pattern. And if it's blue, I need to find the um, green side because opposite colors. So I just insert it into here. I think I got one more edge left, and it's over here. I'll just insert it like on beginner's method. And there we go. Well, now it's on the last layer. So now I'm just going to... This is like an L case because the center and, the and there's two white, white edges facing up. Now I got the cross. Um, this piece is right. Let's see. This piece is correct. Okay, so these these two pieces are in the right spots. So I'm just gonna do the beginner's method algorithm. Uh, let's see. This piece isn't right. This piece is in the right spot. This piece isn't. And this piece isn't. So I'm just going to hold this on the right. I'm going to do the beginner's method algorithm. And all these pieces are in the right spot. So I'm just going to use our uh, beginner's method algorithm. And there we go. It's solved into a checkerboard pattern. This is a very interesting challenge. If you guys ever wanted to try this yourself, let me know down below in the comments. Because I actually, this is kind of fun and satisfying to try. And um, if you have any, 
any questions about how I did it. This isn't a tutorial, like I said, this is just a challenge for myself. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, checkerboard, um, solve challenge. Um, if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos, let me know down in the comments, and I'll catch you guys later. Alright, bye guys.